What's going on everybody? Apex Brew here and welcome back to another Madden 19 Ultimate Team video. And today we're going to be opening up the weekly full Ultimate Legend player pack. I know I was a little bit late on it, but let's see who we're going to get. And we pulled 99 overall Barry Sanders and we pulled him on the weekend that he came out. Now I would say this is probably my best pull all year because I think he was my first 99 pull and even if he wasn't it's Barry Sanders pulled the 99 overall ultimate legend. You guys can see him compared to Ricky Williams. Man is a beast compared to Todd Gurley. At the time, he was, what, 276? So I put him up for 276, 250. And then for the rest of the video, we're going to be opening, I think it was the last House Rules Reward Pack for the rest of the year. I think it was the last one. And we got a couple good pulls out of that. And then we're also going to be upgrading our Madden. And then after that, we're going to be making some more upgrades to the team. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Today we're going to be opening up the rewards for the house rules and the pack is going to be a 94 plus overall fantasy pack and we're finally going to be upgrading uh, our coach Madden as well and last week's house rules I think we had the the two 94 plus fantasy pack rewards and I think only one of the packs treated me well and the other one did not so depending on what overall what card we get here I'll decide whether I will just quick sell it for training or sell it so let's just get right to it. Just hoping for like a 97 Ultimate Legend maybe, 98. 99 Kyler Murray. Wow. Wow, okay. Okay. My pulls this year have been pretty good. Definitely the best probably. I think last year my pulls were pretty good, but this year's pulls I definitely think were better than last year's. Wow, okay. I don't think anything's gonna top that. Okay, big flares. 98 Deacon Jones. Okay. And then what? Team MVP? Our team builders, Emmanuel Sanders. So we're going to, I would assume Kyler Murray would be the most expensive. Because then I could just sell him and buy cards the quick sell for training. Only 200k. Market is so, so dead. Like, everything's so, like, cheap. Which is good, I guess, for people like me. But, like, I just pulled 99 Kyler Murray in, like, that's all I'm gonna get for him that's that's pretty bad and as you guys can see we actually just bought Adam Vinatieri we're gonna wait till we get to level 99 and get the power up pass and use one of the power up passes on his team builder so we can uh, power him up what was he it was like 200 and then 214 I'll do 210 hopefully can sell them for 210 I think that that's a good price yeah just cards are so cheap cards are so cheap right now so I think for the last two you just need to repeat the seven set over again since we're not getting any more series so maybe I'll start working on that either today or tomorrow still grinding uh, house rules okay so which one was I going to add I think rushing because I only have tier one of it and then the last two it's going to be rush defense if I can actually complete it before this game's over. If I actually feel like doing it. So let me just make sure. Rushing. There we go. Alright, so now what do we got? We got carrying, stiff arm, what? Impact block, run block, finesse, lead block, break tackle, run block, truck. So now that I have that, um, LeGarrette Blunt on the Pats theme team will have 99 truck. I think. And on this team too? I forget. So he's going to be a monster most likely. Yeah, 99 truck and he'll have 99 speed on the Pats theme team. Ricky Williams, just what we have him at right now, he already has 95 truck. Him maxed out is going to be crazy. Okay, so now Rick Wagner. I'm not going to power him up. There's no point. Offensive linemen all play the same. My offensive line plays pretty good for me. And what does he have? Run block finesse at 96. So just going to have to keep it what it is. I'm, I'm not going to power him up because it's only him and Anthony Munoz that I would replace and they, they still look really good. 
What's going on everybody? We are back. We uh now reached level 97 and we sold that Kyler Murray. So since we are mutt level 97, we now have this 20k quick sell training, which we are happily going to take. And now what we are going to do is we are going to go over to the tackle. going to overall and John Randall to get his limited time ultimate legend we need 68,000 training which we now have so now we are going to use that on John Randall adding a another gold 99 to the team so looking at him he does look like a monster with 87 speed 94 acceleration 97 strength, 99 play rec, 97 block shed, 99 power move, and 99 finesse move. I'm pretty sure he's better than Mean Joe. Yeah, I would say I would say he's better than Mean Joe. Even though Mean Joe does have that 99 strength. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have a feeling that when Alan Page gets his ultimate legend, which I'm sure is gonna be soon, he'll probably be the best D tackle in the game. I would assume though that'll be because he's gonna be the fastest D tackle in the game. Because I don't know for a hundred percent how many people actually use their D tackles. I don't. My D lines usually Lauren. Taylor, Khalil Mack, Miles Garrett, and Vaughn Miller. But from what I've heard, a lot of people don't use their D tackles. So Mean Joe and John Randall are basically just for overall. But knowing that if I have John Randall in, he should do a good job with that 87 speed, 97 block shed, 99 power move, and 99 finesse. Move. Now, if I had run stuff, he'd probably have 99 block shed, but I'm not too worried about that. And by adding this John Randall, we now have a 99 overall at every position on offense and defense. So the only thing we have to do is uh, get Vinatieri, which we're working on right now. Once we get to level 99, we can get him. Just because his team builders is pretty expensive, we'll use a power up pass on him. And then if they drop a 99 punter, which I would think they would do possibly since they drop new position heroes, maybe if they drop another batch, they would do that, but I don't know. They should do it soon just because of how long of the game is left, and I would like them to do it soon so I can finish off doing my Patriots theme team because it's actually obtainable for me to get a 99 overall this year, and without a doubt, right here is the best team I've ever had. Even with the 99 overall team I had, I think, two years ago, that team was not as good as this team. But what we're going to do right now before uh, I end the video is we're just going to move John Randall to the number one spot. So yeah, man looks like a beast. And actually, now I think about it, before we go, if Pat P is at a decent price, his 92, I might buy him and power him up. I just thought of this right now. I'm hoping he's like one something like he was over the weekend. But then again, that was the weekend. 173. Yep, just gonna do it. 88k, I'm cool, I'll make that back. Okay, so now we need another 17,000 training, which kinda sucks, but I think we can make that back soon. So I'm hoping by either next week or the week after, we could possibly have a 99 overall team. 